Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Win with Heather Havenwood. This is Raw. And because we're in the middle of a thing called election, I'm not sure you figured that out yet. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about the election. We are one day away from the election. So hopefully this is going to go out either Monday or Tuesday. And this is Heather Havenwood. Check me out at heatherhavenwood.com. This is Raw. This is just me and you. Me and you, and you're on the treadmill, and you're listening to me in the car, whatever that looks like. This is just me and you talking about a different angle on the election, kind of what's happening with the election. Um, For me, I'm a Trump supporter, but I want to talk to you about kind of what's been happening as the revolution, the rebels, and Trump really represents the rebels of the American people, the voice. That's that's the, the elixir that he has right now and i'm gonna i'm gonna sh- i'm gonna have a, a video here two minute video of trump's closing argument now in the speaking business when i used to travel the country we would do a 90 minute presentation and at the end we would talk about what i call the close right when someone's like oh my god they're about to go into their clothes it's like their wrap up it's like the height 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 peak 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 and then boom they're literally going to why you should buy and I want to talk a little bit about this that we as human beings have not changed we as human beings since the beginning of time have not altered we haven't we're the brain is very slow to catch up Okay, science has caught up. We can understand the brain. But if you look at the brain, if we were able to have the science today and look back at the Jesus times and the biblical times, it hasn't changed much. That's why you can open up the Bible or go to church or whatnot, and you can listen to a story. And we as human beings can relate in the 19th century and the 21st century because we as human beings haven't changed much. And there's a ton of scholars out there and persuasion influence people that have done a great job of using and leveraging stories to make their point about power seduction war because this election is less about the two people and it's more of a war it's a war for for power it's a war for land it's a war for values it's a war and for a particular view on the world and that's the fight now what's interesting is i feel that the democratic side the the hillary camp as they call it are in panic because what they see is that the trump side okay has something that they don't have and i, I actually say that the republican establishment is, is concerned about this as well by the way that they have a momentum to it. They've literally been able to stand and have the voice of the American people behind them. And it's a very strong voice. And people are really moved by it because honestly, it's a voice that hasn't had a voice in decades. And so that is why the why I call the rise of the rebels and uh, why it's so loud right now. And the, the quote unquote establishment media the established media, which a lot of the media is, is ingrained in the establishment. They're paid off by the establishment. So with that, you're hearing this other voice in social media, right? Has been able to give the American people oops, that voice. And it's, it's quite interesting to me. So I, uh, I, I believe I'm an art. I'm a student of persuasion and influence, the science, the art of persuasion and influence. That's what I feel I'm a student of for many, many years since when 2001, when I was traveling the country at these events, the question I always ask myself is when I walk into a room where there's three or four of us and there's a hundred of uh, strangers and we have to basically close 12 to 20% of that hundred and get them to a point of no like and trust us and hand us over $3,000. That's literally what my job was. And if you look at that particular kind of thing, you ha- the human being has to go through tons of different emotions and feelings um, and desires to be able to say, here's my hard earned money of $3,000 and, and three days of my time to go to this event or whatnot with their buying. And um, that's what's really happening right now. But you're seeing a massive, massive movement. All right. You, if you want to learn more about this art of persuasion of influence, some books are by the by Robert Greene, The Art of War, right? The Power of Seduction, um, The 48 Laws of Power. I mean, he really is a, a scholar 
of what we're kind of going through the day. So I've been reading the, the blog posts of, of Scott Adams, who's the creator of Dilbert. And he's pretty awesome because his entire blog is about persuasion influence. And only recently did he come out as a Trump supporter. He's been talking about uh, tr- uh, about power and influence through the entire primary but he would never say who was for he just kind of look at both sides like here's what she's doing here's what he's doing and one of the things he talked about is that the momentum is behind trump because we as rebels we as people want it's let me say this right we as human beings we will fight against something We will get up, get out our pitchforks, walk out our doors when we feel passionate to be up against something. It'll move mountains. Let me explain one of my stories. So I'm 22 years old. I get invited to an interview. I apply for a position. I get to this interview and the guy, this guy name is Michael and he's the sales manager. And I told him I want to be in sales and he goes, Oh, well, you're 22 and no degree and you're cute. You need to be in the front customer service and you're in the wrong room. It's the wrong interview. And I was like, no, that I want to be B2B to sales. And he kind of giggled at me. Like you're kidding, right? Cause the average guy's like 45 and he's got a family and it's all male. And I said, no, I want to be in the back with the B2B sales and not. That's where I want to be. And he, um, he had to get the approval of his district manager, but it was like this big joke. He, he actually told me, look, you're probably not going to survive. That's fine. We'll still get you in the position in the front. And I was there for four years and I was number one out of the country, but it was completely out of a big F you. It was out of proving Michael wrong. Proving him wrong. That's what that whole thing was about. It was proving him wrong. I'm stronger and better than what he thought I was. And that's the feeling right now that you hear in the supporters of Trump. We're tired of being pushed down. We're tired of having a voice. We are going to say F you to the establishment. So that's what this is about. So I'm going to um, play you the two minute video that is really the closing argument of Donald Trump. Our movement is about replacing a failed and corrupt political establishment with a new government controlled by you, the American people. The establishment has trillions of dollars at stake in this election. For those who control the levers of power in Washington and for the global special interest, they partner with these people that don't have your good in mind. The political establishment that is trying to stop us is the same group responsible for our disastrous trade deals, massive illegal immigration, and economic and foreign policies that have bled our country dry. The political establishment has brought about the destruction of our factories and our jobs as they flee to Mexico, China, and other countries all around the world. It's a global power structure that is responsible for the economic decisions that have robbed our working class, stripped our country of its wealth, and put that money into the pockets of a handful of large corporations and political entities. The only thing that can stop this corrupt machine is you. The only force strong enough to save our country is us. The only people brave enough to vote out this corrupt establishment is you, the American people. I'm doing this for the people and for the movement. And we will take back this country for you and we will make America great again. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Okay, that was pretty powerful, and I got chills on it. It is about rising up, and that is why his political campaign has destroyed, I feel, Hillary. Any other um, person that, you know, uh, Scott Walker, uh, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, if any of one of them had won the primary, the Republican primary, they it, it, Hillary probably would be slaughtering them right now because none of them had the power to be able to create a movement. 
And if you w- listen to Donald Trump and his current rallies, I'm going right side media, right side media is actually showing his current rallies. If you actually watch his rallies, it is a movement. People are, people are there four and five hours ahead of time. And then on top of that, they are waiting for him for three or four hours. And then they, I mean, it's an all day affair and this is happening all over the country. I've never seen anything like it. And so here we are on Monday and I don't know what the, you know, this is coming out on Monday. Today's Sunday. We don't know what the future is going to hold, but I will say this, whatever happens on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, we're all going to rise up and we're all going to say, I feel we are more awakened from this election. We are more shaken up from this election than anything in history. I feel than the last least couple couple of decades, couple of decades. I think 9-11 really shook us, but I feel we didn't do anything about it. It shook us to come together, but it didn't shake us to rise up against something to make something better. So I know this is probably sounds like a political campaign, but it's really not. And so whatever your business is or whatever your desire is, now's the time. There is no more waiting. Now's the time to rise up against whatever the establishment is in your in your life. It could be a significant other, could be a parent, could be your own brain, right? Your own head and the voices in your head is the anti-establishment. You've got to be able to rise up against that and say no more, no more. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. I'm going to have a voice and get out there and go after you want. So this is Heather Havenwood. Check me out at heatherhavenwood.com. And this is Raw.